Well, welcome back everybody to the online program for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center. And the topic is on theories of addiction. And Robert West, a, a British psychologist who's uh, spent a lot of years studying, he's actually a nicotine expert, a uh, smoking, uh, smoking addiction expert. And he collected uh, 30 th theories, uh, uh, mainstream scientific theories on what an addiction is. And last week we talked about probably the most p powerful one or certainly the most influential one in the field today being the idea that addiction is a brain disease. And Wes points out uh, uh, also there are a collection of theories that he puts under choice theory. One of the ones he talks about uh, was developed by a fellow by the name of Gary Becker. Now, Gary Becker is an economist. He won the Nobel Prize in, in economics. And anyway, he applied economic theory to addiction, to the psychology of addiction. And it's actually kind of interesting. And Murphy was the other fellow whose name's on, all the, uh, uh, on the famous paper that came out saying addiction was a, a rational economic uh, uh, choice. And this idea is of rationality is fairly popular. In this particular theory, uh, the idea is addicts are going to be are going to uh, behave uh, very similarly to consumers who are consuming a commodity. The commodity, in this case, being the drug, of course. So they're going to sort of go through this cost-benefit analysis and weigh out, well, geez, is it is it better to spend all this money and go through all this stuff I'm going to in order to uh, get this feeling from the drug, or do the, uh, the do the cost of it outweigh the benefits? So people will go through this. So, for example, one of the key things that Becker points out is uh, distress often leads people into using drugs. <clears throat> because there's this payoff, this benefit for using drugs is that it gets rid of the distress. And so the person is just sort of balancing this, well, is the benefit of getting rid of the distress worth the cost and money and time and, you know, family uh, problems in the family and, every, and problems at work, all those, all those things that arise from the addiction. And they'll do that up until they make this decision, well, no, the costs are outweighing the benefits, and so they'll, they'll consider then recovering. Okay, and particularly with the distress, not only is the distress sort of the triggering event of the addiction, but it also is the key point in maintaining the addiction. So that's one example of this rational way of looking at it. Another one um, that's uh, reasonably popular is uh, the idea that addicts self-medicate. So the concept that I'm suffering from depression or anxiety or you know something like that, and therefore I will use the drugs as a way of medicating, of uh, dealing with this depression, anxiety, and whatever underlying thing is going on for me, right? So I'm going to make a conscious choice to use the drug because it's got this benefit of medicating, of, of providing a salve for what I'm feeling. Okay, so those are two examples of choice uh, theory. A little different, each of them is a little different. But they all operate under this principle that addicts are making rational choices along the way, logical choices, and that when the costs outweigh the benefits, then they will consider uh, giving it up. Anyway, that's an interesting theory. And we'll be back uh, next time with the, uh, another famous theory.